Okay, hello there. Um, I am Harry Page, and I'm going to be showing you how to get um, Nintendo Wii cursors on on Windows Vista and Windows 7. And also, if you're not happy with your cursors, I am going to show you how to restore it. Okay. So what you need to do is click on the link um, in the description. Yep, as it says down here, it has a little, that's annoying, but anyway, so, um, yeah, you just click on the link in the description, so now we're going to go into your, into our web browser, and we're going to, when you get to this link, um, you should get this address in your address bar, and I'm using Google Chrome. And you should get this whole page. Okay, scroll down, but we don't need down it, that's just all the comments. And you can leave a comment if you want to, just to add a comment. Good. Or something, you know, and then you can go all with them. But we're not focusing on that today. Oops. That was painful. We're not focusing on that today. So, what we need to do is we have a little look. This is the top, and we need to go along to a place called Download File. This can download it onto your computer. Yeah, and it has and it has Add to Favorites above it. Okay, so we can click on Download File, and if you're using Google Chrome, then it should appear down at the bottom here. And then once it's finished, we're gonna open it up. Right, now it should open up a compress zipped folder. Right, so the reason why it says 2 up here is because I've already got it. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to come along here and go to extract all files. Click on that and you get a little box up here. And then you need to click extract. Now, when, once this is all done, you get loads of um, all of these. Okay, these are all your um, cursors, and as it says, cursor, and some of them are animated. Yeah, only three. Okay, um, this thing says read me. You don't need to. It's just the end user license agreement or whatever. Okay. So then, what you need to do now is you need to go to um, control panel yeah so notice where it is so it's in my personal folder my downloads and then my we and then it's in this folder here we cursor by Ali one okay so we just need to close all this off now because we don't need it and right i'm just going to close all the stuff that i don't need because it will just confuse you okay so now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to um, our desktop. Now, that'll be for me. And we're going to go down to this little icon down here called Start. Okay? And then you get all this up, and you need to go to Control Panel. And you will get this up. Okay? What, what you're looking for in this folder here is appearance and personalization. Now if you look on the right hand side, the screen is split. We just imagine it's split. Okay, and you need to look on the right hand side and you get user accounts and family safety. And all that, we want the second one down, appearance and personalization. Yep. You can also find that on your desktop if you are always. Okay, if you know where it is. But make sure you keep up. Okay, now where we're going to go is um, we're going to click on the green first green title, and that is called personalization. Right? When we get in here, you get all this to control on your computer, like your desktop background, your screensaver, the colour and appearance, the sounds, the mouse pointers, the theme, the display settings. What you want is the mouse pointers, and this will. Um, bring up all the pointers. 
and as you can see now we've got all the pointers and you can see there's my little icon there for normal select so what you need to do is you need to double click on normal select and you get the windows cursors okay what you need to do is you need to go into your wherever you saved it so mine is in my personal folder and then downloads and then I've got loads of them because I've had to make loads of remix. So I'm going to go into um, number two here. And for you, there'll only be one, and that'll be what it's called. So I'm going to go into this one actually and just delete these ones. Obviously, you won't have to do it, so don't be getting confused. I'm just deleting them to not confuse you. Right, now the compress zipped files will not be. Um, in here anymore because it, it, we're looking for cursors and if you click on all files then of course you're going to get everything that's in your download files and you're going to get all the compressed zip folders so you just want to keep it on cursors to make it nice and easy so you get um, um, the folders that you just need really that um, might have cursors in so what you do is you double click on it and now you need to select. So we clicked on normal select back here. And I've used the normal thing for what the Wii uses. And for that, on here you have to scroll down. And then you get Wii pointer reverse. That is what it is called. But you can also use this one. I didn't use these two. Because they're too, they're too bright blue for what all these are. So I'm going to use this one. And as you can see, it's popped up here. And then we go over to Help Select. So you click on that. And then there's one called We Help. That's the third one down. Click on that. And then Working in Background, that is the We Loading one. Okay, that is the We Loading Ring. Ninth one down, I think. Three, six. Yep, ninth one down. And then for busy, I also use that one, and it also gives you a quick preview, but that isn't going to be how slow it is in the actual thing. Now with these, you don't actually see them in everyday computer life, okay? So you don't need to you you don't need, and there's not even one for on the Wii there for it, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to go down vertical resize there isn't actually a wee thing for vertical resize I mean you can do it if you want to you can do grab or we move but it won't make sense okay so that'll be same for horizontal resize diagonal resize diagonal resize again and move now as you can see I've got this little crunched up pan and that is what you can use for move because that is what it is on the normal Wii. So what you do is what you need to go on to is the first one that is Wii Grab. Double click on that and then you've got that for your move. And then link select. So the link select is normally a little hand um, such as like our one that we used for the first one. Um, but really you don't want that because it will just confuse you and you won't even know if it's a link. So I went for the um, open hand, we open it's called, and I double clicked on that. Okay, and then when you're finished, click on apply, and then okay. And as you can see, my cursor, I think you might be able to see it, my cursor has changed. Yeah? Okay, now if you're ever unhappy with it, then we're going to go into a step-by-step -step guide if you're unhappy with it. Okay, so what you need to do is um, if you are unhappy then what you need to do is you need to go um, onto your start menu again. Okay, so that's down here. And then you need to go onto control panel again. And we're going to go through the same step Appearance and personalization. Oops. Okay, and then we're going to go to personalization. 
and then we're going to go down to mouse pointers again. And then we get this, and then this will be reset so you won't need to locate the cursors. So that's good. So you double click on it, and then you look for the Windows cursor. Um, if you're unsure what it's called, and you want to have a look, then you can always look it up on the web. And these three, you can choose from these three. I would go for the medium one, because that is what it looks like general. And then obviously you get your busy one, and you're busy again, and you're busy again. But, as I say, I would use the medium one, because it looks like it. And then you get your dragger, which we don't use. Then you've got the link select. Again, I would use the middle one. So yeah, um, they are pretty well labelled. Um, so yeah, just use that. Okay, thank you for watching this tutorial. Please subscribe to Computer Help. And um, hopefully we can get more viewers. Thank you.